Hello, my name's Julia Farley and I'm the curator of the British and European Iron Age collections here at the British Museum. Last December, just before Christmas, uh, I had a really exciting email telling me um, that an incredible find had just come up. Um, two detectorists have been working in the parish of Leakrith and um, they had found um, four objects. Uh, so we have three gold torques, so big kind of solid metal neck rings, um, and one beautiful, very fine gold bracelet. Um, and I went straight out to Staffordshire to see them, uh, and they are incredibly beautiful objects. They're made of um, almost pure gold, um, and they're very, very finely made. You can see incredible details on them, even where, um, where they've rubbed against um, the neck of the people who have been wearing these objects. And they were probably made about um, nearly two and a half thousand years ago. Uh, and that comes in a really interesting time in Britain because there had been a period of maybe about 500 years where people hadn't really been um, using and wearing gold jewellery as far as we know. Um, and these are some of the, the first objects uh, to kind of reappear in Britain um, at that really interesting time. And what's even more intriguing is they don't look like anything else from Britain. They look more like um, objects and jewellery that we see in continental Europe, um, in places like what's now France and Germany. And what's most likely uh, is that these are objects which have been worn by a powerful, important women, and that they've maybe been imported from the continent into Britain, um, whether they've come over um, in trade as gifts, or perhaps even been um, brought over by the women who owned them. So these objects tell a really wonderful story uh, and what's going to happen to them next is that hopefully they are going to be acquired by a museum and the Potteries Museum and Art Gallery in Stoke-on-Trent um, are hoping to acquire this find and if they could be on display there that would be absolutely wonderful. Um, they will be freely accessible for anybody to go and see um, and uh, they'll be on display close to where they were found in the parish of Leakfrith. So I would really love to see that happen. Uh, and if you would too, um, then I know that um, Stoke-on-Trent City Council um, and the Friends of the Potteries Museum and Art Gallery um, would really love um, to receive a donation from anybody um, who can afford to do that to help with them acquiring this brilliant find. Uh, so thanks very much. And I hope that you get a chance to go and see them as well. Uh, they're currently on display temporarily here at the British Museum for anybody who would like to come and have a look. And we hope that very soon um, they'll be going back up to Staffordshire uh, to be on display at the Potteries Museum and Art Gallery. If you'd like to make a donation uh, to help the Potteries Museum and Art Gallery acquire the talks, there will be a link in the text that accompanies the post of this video.